Hello guys and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. My name is Christoph and today we have a super interesting topic that I think all of you guys will love. So very recently we came across this clip from Epic Whale in a tournament match, yes an actual competitive game, and showed him switching to controller mid-match to abuse his aim assist from inside a box. Let's roll the clip so you can see for yourselves. Oh my god, <laughs> that guy just got fucking locked on. Oh yeah, what savage. <laughs> that guy This brought up the question, can hybrid players really be new meta? In this video, we'll be discussing the hybrid playstyle and why players like Unknown Army and Epic Whale really might be onto something big. But real quick, before we start, if you guys want to get better at Fortnite, make sure to click the description link below and find yourself a pro player to play with right now. They'll jump into game with you and show you everything you need to do to start winning more games. All right, for our question today, what do you guys think of hybrid players? Do you think it's going to be meta? I personally don't think it's very meta. I think it's kind of niche, but who knows? Let me know down below. All right, let's get into the video. To start off, I've got to say this. That clip was insane. Just look how hard he goes and beams everyone. This honestly makes it seem like switching to controller in the middle of a game actually makes sense. As weird as that sounds. Think about it like this though. You play the majority of the game on mouse and keyboard for the fast mechanics, and then you switch to controller whenever you're in a relatively safe spot, and then start abusing aim assist on the players around you. This post by Reddit user Massive Squid163 is where he posted in the competitive subreddit. He expresses his thoughts on a lot of players pretty well. He says, I know that hybrid is somewhat of a meme in the pro community at the moment, but with the current meta and loot pool, I think it would be a viable strat. I play mainly on controller, but I'd say that I'm average on mouse and keyboard. I struggle with quick edits for box fighting and tunneling on controller, so I generally switch to mouse and keyboard whenever needed. Basically, Massive Squid plays on a controller for the aim assist since he's mostly used for it, but in fights, he tends to switch to mouse and keyboard since he can edit and build much faster. So what will this do for competitive in Fortnite? Essentially, if you're good at both input devices, you can abuse each one in its best areas, like mouse and keyboard for the fast edits and builds, and controller for the aim assist, and raise your skill ceiling exponentially as a result on both. On top of this, hybrid gameplay is completely allowed. Both input devices are 100% allowed, and nowhere in tournament rules does it say that you can't do this. You're simply using two tools that are completely allowed in conjunction with one another to help your gameplay improve. So far, they haven't banned it, so you're not cheating in any way, shape, or form. Another example of an insane hybrid player is Unknown Army. Unknown typically plays on his Xbox Elite controller, but in the past few months he's been grinding mouse and keyboard, seemingly so that he can abuse the fast edits and builds while also having his controller around for the sweet, sweet aim assist and a bit more variety in his gameplay. The thing about Unknown is that he's so, so good at controller already. With people like Unknown or Wolfies who have ridiculously good mechanics on controller already, it might be a little bit less helpful to play on hybrid simply because they can already use those insane mechanics. But it does seem like a hybrid style could help in the long run since the skill ceiling is still higher on mouse and keyboard in terms of mechanics. I can definitely see this becoming a thing on the pro level since a lot of fights are centered around box fights and aim assist can be really OP in that regard. But overall guys, it really does seem that despite it being a bit of a meme in the Fortnite community, a hybrid playstyle really seems to have some great strengths to bring to competitive Fortnite as a whole. Let us know what you guys think about this topic down below. We're looking forward to continuing this conversation. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for the video. Once again, if you want to get better at Fortnite, make sure to click the description link below and go to ProGuides.com where you'll find your pro coach right now. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.